everyone, my name is Shay if you're new, if not, welcome back. You know that we are in the third video out of four or maybe five of simple single ingredient snacks. And the goal of this series is to have ideas to make these snacks that are easy for on the go for quick, busy schedules with ingredients that most likely you already have in your kitchen. And if not, they're ingredients that you can use over and over again and a lot of different snacks within this series or different snacks you make at home in general. So today we're gonna be making granola bars that have like dried blueberries in them and cinnamon along with these other ingredients. But also I'm thinking of potentially doing chocolate chip as well. So having like a fruit as well as a chocolate option, but really, this is an endless possibility for you. You can add whatever you want. I'm gonna show you the base of the granola bar ingredients first. We're gonna do that. And then after that, you can really add what you want. So again, thanks for clicking on this video. I'm excited to make these granola bars with you today. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Come on in. So the first part here, we are going to make the granola bar base recipe. And you're gonna need a half a cup of honey, two thirds cup of almond butter or nut butter, any kind of nut butter, a third cup of coconut oil, one half cup of flax seeds, two tablespoons of vanilla extract, and two cups of old-fashioned rolled oats. Or you could substitute this with flaked coconut. If you would like to make the cinnamon blueberry granola bars, these ones are really simple. You're gonna need one tablespoon of cinnamon, you're gonna need one tablespoon of chia seeds, and you're gonna need one whole cup of dried blueberries. That's it other than if you would like to add some almonds or any kind of nuts. Now let's start preparing our dry ingredients for the chocolate granola bars. So I'm getting out a cup of walnuts, a cup of pecans, as well as a cup of mini chocolate chips. And I also have enough almonds here to add into these granola bars as well. We have a third of a cup of cocoa powder, and lastly, the protein powder. I added one scoop. Okay, we have all of our ingredients ready and measured out. So I just wanted to pull you a little closer. A little vlog style here. Oop, there's my cat. Found, found my hair clip on the ground. I wanted to pull you closer to these ingredients here. I know that I just showed them to you, but this is what we're working with. And as you can see, we have two pans here. At least I have two pans, depending on what kinds of granola bars you want to make. These will go in the oven at 375. I got to check how much time, and I'll put that in the video here, how much time to put them in for. And yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to start mixing them now, putting it all together. <laughs> and also, say hi to Luna. And, and yes, this is my lighting setup. Luna, Luna, Luna why, why are we doing this right now? <laughs> Finishing up here, I just wanted to hit you with some more healthy food facts. And first we're gonna start with the flax seeds. And I have no idea why they're called flax seeds. It's not what I would have expected when I first heard of them and bought them at the store. But it's that light brown powdery substance. And what they are are nuts that are all ground up. 
And so the nutrients in these flax seeds are omega-3, and that's a fatty acid that helps guard against heart disease and arthritis. Plus, they have lignans that are cancer-fighting. These lignans are best absorbed in this ground form instead of as the whole seed. So that's why these flax seeds are in such a powdery form. This means that flax seeds are great for pretty much any baked food you want to make. All right, so some other healthy food facts. Let's talk more about antioxidants, but go deeper. There are so many different types of antioxidants. And the first one is polyphenols. That's the one I'm gonna talk about first here that is related to the ingredients that we're using today in this video. So for example, the blueberries, walnuts, hazelnuts, and pecans, those all have polyphenols and research supports that they may help protect against cancer and heart disease as well as type 2 diabetes and systematic inflammation. Third and last healthy food fact for you in this video is the other antioxidant that I will talk about and there are others but the other one I'm going to mention is called a flavonoid and these flavonoids in specifically this recipe appears in the blueberries and they may help protect against cardiovascular disease, hypertension, diabetes, cancer, viruses, and neurological diseases. So many things being checked off there. Now it's time to take our mixtures and put them onto the parchment paper that's in our glassware and we're gonna use a spatula to push on these to spread out this mixture evenly, fitting it into all the corners of the glassware before we put it into the oven. Adding the toppings is so fun. I don't know why, but it reminds me of an art project. So on top of the cinnamon blueberry, I'm gonna put some more cinnamon, and then I'm gonna sprinkle some almonds on top, and that's gonna be good for that one. That one's good to go. The chocolate granola bars was even more fun for me to decorate <laughs> because there were more things to put on top. So I put all of the nuts that I have here, the walnuts, the pecans, and the almonds, and then I also sprinkled on top more chocolate chips. Use your spatula to press in your toppings so that they don't fall off after baking. Ooh, let's add some sea salt too. Okay, <laughs> we're super duper <laughs> up close. I can't go any further back here with my window, but we're gonna go into vlog mode again. I'm going to carry these both to the oven. And earlier, I said that they were going to go into, that's better, the oven at 375, no, 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 325. I was saying 375 because I make chocolate chip cookies a lot. <laughs> and while no, those are not a healthy snack. Um, I've made a couple hundred some batches of cookies in my lifetime so far. And I mean, I even also usually have raw dough in the freezer on the ready all the time. Literally, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna prove this to you. <laughs> this time I didn't make it. I just wanted them so bad. Here they are. <laughs> they are. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I definitely enjoy my sweets as well. So here is the chocolate chip granola bars. And I'm going to put them in the oven right now at 325. 325, I'm going to show this to you so that you also have the visual. 325. And they're going to go in there for 21 minutes until the outer part of the granola bars. <laughs> starts to turn a little bit brown and then we want to get them out and let them rest. So we're going to put that one in there. And then also here is my cinnamon raisin. Oh no, cinnamon blueberry. So I'm going to put that in here now. 
Here we go. Here we go. Smells so good. This, I know. I, I, I know they smell fantastic. Yeah. Mmm. I smell cinnamon and chocolate. <laughs> Just not together. Okay, okay. Oh, it's so good. Let's let those rest. Might actually blast freeze them. And then we'll cut them up. Yeah. It is the next day. Last night I lost a lot of daylight and I figured they needed to rest anyways. Say good morning, Luna. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> this is their morning routine. <laughs> um, but yeah, I knew that these needed to rest and I figured the footage would just look better with better lighting the next day. Anyway, I got them out of the fridge, so I let them rest, put them in the fridge. I read that it's best to keep them in the fridge for about a month for freshness, but if you put them in the freezer and keep them there until you're ready to take them out and eat them, they'll last about three months. So that's where mine are gonna live, they're gonna be the freezer. So this morning I took them from the fridge, put them in the freezer for just a little bit to blast chill them. This is the first time I've made these. So I know I'm going to learn something from this process, whether I needed to add more of the liquid part of this recipe to make it more sticky, or maybe I added too much. Maybe I needed more oatmeal. So I'm gonna grab them out of the bags. I'm gonna pull you in close again so you can see them. All done. Okay, so I have both of the different granola bars I made here in front of me. I have the blueberry cinnamon, and I also have the chocolate chip and nut granola bar as well. I'm gonna try first this cinnamon blueberry one. Mm. Mmm. 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 <laughs> I feel like I just made the weirdest face. Ah, uh, I love this one. I don't really even taste the almond butter. I thought that that would be a flavor that would go up against the sweetness that I was wanting for the blueberries, and I was hoping that it would be enough sweetness with the honey. It's really good. I can taste the cinnamon. It just tastes so good. It really does taste like like a raisin, an oatmeal raisin cookie to me. But even this granola, I guess te technically now granola, but the oats, they're not crunchy. They're soft. It just crumbles in my mouth as I chew. And the nuts are not chompy, <laughs> they're not hard. This one's definitely really good, love that one. It's exactly what I would have would have wanted it to taste when I had an expectation of, I hope it tastes like this, that's exactly what that tastes like. 
I'm really happy with those. I'll definitely make those again. So good. I wonder if the chocolate one will be sweet as well or if the chocolate one's going to be more on the bitter side. Now we're gonna do the chocolate one. I love chocolate. I feel like I have higher expectations for this one. <laughs> so it might be on me. It has more nuts in it. It is definitely more solid. It's thick. And I think it might be because there was less oats to the, to the liquid part of this batter, if you will. But we'll see. Mmm. 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 Oh my word. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so good. At first, I wasn't getting a strong chocolatey flavor until more of it hit my tongue and I'm worried there's gonna be more chocolate on my mouth than on my face. Like last time. Don't mind me. Just, <laughs> just know the messier I get, the more I'm enjoying it. This is really good. Let me do another bite. Mmm. 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 <laughs> I love chocolate. Mm. Y'all, yeah, I really like both of these. They're so different. I'm hearing my head going, which one do I like better? I'm so surprised. I didn't expect to like this one as much because I'm just so particular about what I want my chocolate things to taste like. Like I just wanted it to taste like chocolate. And I thought with all the nuts and like the coconut oil and the honey and the almond butter, I just thought that that would overpower the chocolate. Mm -mm. It tastes like nothing but chocolate. Nothing but chocolate. It's amazing. Oh my goodness. And y'all saw I didn't even use all of the chocolate chips that I had portioned out to begin with. This has cocoa powder in it. Like no granulated sugar, just honey. Oh my word. And it's not falling apart as much, which is telling me that I needed more liquid part of this recipe. In my blueberry cinnamon ones, so it wouldn't fall apart as much. Oh man, I'm gonna finish this whole thing. This one's gotta be my number one. If I'm sitting here still eating it and I'm excited for the next bite and I'm having a hard time focusing on the things I'm telling y'all, this one's, this one's my go-to. This one's good. Well, there you have it, guys. There is the granola bar recipe that you can try. Put what you want into your own granola bar base recipe. If you want to try these, go ahead and try them. Let me know how you like them. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to try something different. The recipe that I found had like 12 different options, and I can even put that in the description box below if you want to check that out all those different ideas for this recipe but i definitely would give this one a go give them a try thank you so much for stopping by on my channel watching this video following along with the series hanging out with me i really appreciate it i will look forward to seeing you guys in the next one have a great day bye